I'm Dylan and uh, I'm 21. Um, I became a young dad at 16. Uh, I have a daughter who's four, almost five this month. Uh, her name's Connie, Connie May. Um, I'm also a PR researcher for Northeast Young Dads and Lads. My name's William, I've got three kids. Uh, I found out I was going to be a dad at 17. I had my second at 19 and my third at 21. Um, so my name's Adam Grzelanczyk, like you mentioned. Um, so I'm an appealing support worker for North East Young Dads and Lads, um, supporting young dads in um, all types of research. Um, and currently we are doing the Diverse Dads research. What that entails is kind of looking at the support within the North East um, for dads of different cultures and ethnicities. I first got involved was just one to ones with Kevin because there wasn't there wasn't a charity then it was just he was doing some work for a young women's project and he was meeting a bunch of the young women's partners and obviously my partner gave him my contact details he met us when I was in school. I think it was like two thousand and fifteen if I can remember rightly. Like I say, I like to be actively involved with the young dads. Like I feel if it's anything that can help the young dads, I'm quite happy to do it. So if it's going to help out anything like what we didn't have support-wise when we were going through this sort of stuff, and if we can change that, then yeah. Um, in regards to ethnicities and the young dads that are coming through the doors, um, especially through referrals and um, kind of the group work that we're doing, so the likes of football and um, beekeeping and all sorts like that, um, and our CEO, Kevin Studley, um, identified that um, the diversity of the young dads is very low. And he went with a look into that and kind of what kind of support do young dads of different cultures um, receive in the North East. Um, and he got in touch with um, the following young fathers um, team and... Um, got uh, talking about it and said actually this would be a really great piece of work to do um, and um, pitched it to me and two young dads and we went from there. What sort of specific work have you been doing on the project? Looking at um, like groups for the BAME community or BAME dads um, writing it up about uh, finding... It's not like formal, like I, that. The thing is, it's like it's formal, obviously, for like when we're going through certain meetings and stuff like that. But it's going to be for the work itself. It's not like it's all formal. Can have like a daft laugh about it. And it makes it just feel more relaxed to do the work, really. So I've enjoyed working with the lads that I work with, working with the full team, and um, they've been very supportive. Uh, it's been really enjoyable, and kind of there's been a lot of like conversations even with my dad who. Um, we would um, define as a young dad, but he doesn't define himself as a young dad. Um, so it's kind of even like family discussions as well have been at the forefront of this as well. We found that there was a lot of support in the bigger cities like Durham, Newcastle and like Gateshead. But there was not a lot of support in like the like Darling and stuff like that. And we just we feel like that there needs to be more support there. Before no support groups so like obviously parents like that we couldn't find. So obviously I thought we if I look further into obviously the pregnancy rate itself and we're going off each specific area, so like obviously Hardypool, Durham and Gateshead, whatever. And we're obviously searching up to find out what the pregnancy rates are of like of the communities we really, say obviously if there is some need for sort of support in that area. We've been in contact with groups, but none of them specifically mention, obviously, the work with, like, our, our work with this dad or this man. Like, not many really specifically mention that, so it's basically like a hit and miss sort of thing. So some of them will feel like we're getting lucky and then some we don't. Another big thing that's came out of this research is um, we started off with terminology that quite a lot of um, professionals and researchers might use, which is the term BAME, or Black, um, Asian and Minority Ethnic. Um, and in actual fact, after having conversations with professionals and 
um, no doubt um, the young dads as well um, it will illustrate that um, that term isn't the greatest term to be using mm -hmm. and actually the best thing to do is rather than presume um, is just to ask um, how they would like to be identified and go from there. I, I just assumed in any way that a young dad was under 25 because obviously my culture wise so yeah, all sorts really mainly just about other cultures and how it affects them parent wise if you know what I mean it's different obviously us. One of the cultures I see is when one of the lads interviewed he was 27 which that's what they considered as a younger parent but for us it's 25 and under sort of thing. That kind of initial building of rapport um, that there's been so many different people from different backgrounds and um, being able to have like a toolkit that you can navigate with um, around that is really important um, and it's one that we've been developing ourselves through these conversations, the even email conversations um, and how to pitch this uh, piece of work to be um, wanted to like for people to want to be involved in this. It made us more aware of like how I word stuff like don't just assume someone's from somewhere because of like like skin colour or like the way like accents and stuff. Um,